Hi friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the book of Zechariah. Zechariah was the prophet that God raised to call the people that came back from Babylon to rebuild the temple. But he is telling something for the people that is extraordinary. Because Haggai was telling people that you have to do that because if you don't do that, this is going to happen or this is happening because you are not doing your job and all that kind of thing. But Zechariah decided to go to the other way. He said, look, I'm going to tell them, at least God used him to, to say, look, what we're doing here will have uh, results, consequences that are universal, will reach the whole world. So what we're building here is something bigger. It's not just a, a, a building. It's bigger than that. And, and it's, it's amazing what he is sharing with the people. And, and, and this is how he is encouraging people to build something because they, they know that it's, it's bigger than them. And before I share the, the verse for today, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to Share this video with your friends and families and help us to bless other people. Verse for today, chapter 9, verse 10. Chapter 9, verse 10. What he, what, look what he says. I will take away the chariots from Ephraim and the war horses from Jerusalem and the battle bow will be broken. He will proclaim peace to the nations. His rule will extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. If you read the verse 9, it's a prophecy about Jesus. So here he's talking about the Messiah, the King of Zion. He's talking here about the Messiah. And he said, look, the Messiah is coming. We're building this thing. We're building this temple. We're building this city. And the Messiah will come. And he will destroy the chariots and take away the horses and the bro break, break the the." the, the the bows, the the, uh, the the bow with the uh, with the battle, he will proclaim peace to the nations, and his rule will extend from sea to sea, from river to river, all over the the earth, and we're seeing that, right? I mentioned this uh, yesterday. We well, in our last video, we're seeing that Jesus came to proclaim peace, not only peace between nations but peace between people and God. Jesus is the one that makes that peace. And that peace is available now. Zacharias is telling the people, say, look, it's not just for the people of Israel. His uh, ruling, his kingdom is not just our kingdom. His kingdom will ex stretch, will extre stretch for the whole world, everybody will be involved in this. He will reach every corner of the world. That is the kingdom of God. And Jesus came to establish that kingdom. He is that king. He is the king of the world. And it's very important for us to understand. And we are his subjects. And we serve him. And we are in the process of conquering the world for him. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a powerful message that Zachariah delivered to them. Because at that time it was just me, me, me. It's just our group, our land, our people, our temple. Our and Zachariah said, no, 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 no. This is, this is it's bigger. It will reach the whole world and he will be king not only in Jerusalem. He will be king of the world. All the nations. Every people from river to the ends of the earth. That is his kingdom. And that's great news. And we are part of this. We are involved in this project. We are involved in this project. You are part of it. I am part of it. And that's great. That's great. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.